and good morning we're here at the sandbox plaza this morning in OS grid one of their sandbox plazas to build stuff uh, that's what you do in virtual worlds a lot of times you can build on your own land but a lot of people don't have land or or you just want to get out and build somewhere else and see what other people are building usually in a sandbox there's a lot of builds going on uh, today it's pretty quiet here I don't even see anybody else in the sandbox which is which is okay because we're just going to be building a little small build and then we'll be on our way now um, to build is, is, is pretty simple uh, there's a few basics that you have to know uh, now first when you right click your mouse on the ground like that you get a pie menu and it's sit here go go here create about land edit terrain and we're going to select create all right so we left click create and what we have here is we have a, a build menu and this is uh you have your representation of the shapes that you're going to build up here it's a cube a, a prism a pyramid a, a sphere a cylinder a, and we have some uh, ring, tori, and uh, a lot of different shapes. So you can even build plants with this out of this menu. But what we're going to do is just use basic uh, cube for now. So here, let's do this. So we're going to click right, uh, left click on the ground, and it'll build that cube, and then see so you have your axis here uh your that you can move your cube around in the different axis and so what we're going to do is we're going to stretch that because it's with we need something that we can hold in our hand so go down here to stretch and you got little handles that you can grab with your mouse by putting your cursor on it and holding your left mouse button so what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it this way and i've got stretch both sides selected when you see both sides like that we're going to unclick that um, and then we're going to go like this and squeeze it down to something that looks more you know handle more like a handle and gonna make it feel what looks tiny here but it's not really because you know our hands are need to be able to hold it well anyway excuse me first cup of coffee of the morning okay so now i i select selected the object tab in your build menu and that gives you uh an opportunity here to modify your prim by your numbers here on the, on the left uh your parameters so Z Z the blue handles that's your Z axis so you go over here to your Z axis and you can use your up and down arrows here to modify it and I'm gonna make it a little bit taller because I'm gonna be holding it in my hand and I want the big part of the side to be over my head okay so we just click the up, the up arrow on your Z axis on size and that makes it taller so we're going to drag it up here a little bit and get a good idea of where we're at that's that's a little bit tall really for what i need so we're going to go down so i click the down axis on the z axis or the down arrow on the z axis to make it smaller see every time i click it it's going to go down a little bit we don't want to go too far down though let's see I'm thinking probably about, ooh, I was making it wider there. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. We'll make it about 0.9 meters. That ought to be about right. Okay, and now then, what, what we want to do now is get a good view of it here. And I'm going to show you drag copy, what you call drag copy. So I'll grab this handle here on your Z axis again. Hold the shift key down and make a copy of it. 
and put it right there at the end of the, the one that we just made. Okay, now we could use either this green axis here. Let's, let's do that. Let's enlarge that. We could do either side, but uh, did I copy it? Hmm. Yeah, I did. Okay, I couldn't see the, the one that I had copied from. Okay, let's enlarge that on your y-axis to make the, the sign. Oh, there we go. See how easy that was? Now, we want to make it big enough where people can see it from, from a distance. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're going to enlarge it on the z-axis a little bit here. Oh, that's getting much better. And maybe a little bit bigger on the y-axis. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to link the handle that we just made and the sign that we just made. Now, I'm going to make the handle the, what you call the root, at, at the root prim. So you select it first, and then you select the top part of the sim. You hold down shift and select it. And actually, the root prim is the last prim. I, I'm, I apologize. I only, I've only had half a cup of coffee this morning. The root prim is going to be the last prim that you select. So we'll select that, select that, and link it. And I hope I got that right. Yeah. Okay. Now the handle is the root prim. See, it's yellow. And then all your child prim are blue. Yay. Okay. So let me get this out of my camera controls again. Now, it's okay to leave the handle wood color, but we need to, uh, oh, and I closed out my exit menu. See, that's how, how awake, awake I am. Okay, so we want to select this sign here, but we don't want to color all of it or, or texture all of it. We want to select just these two sides. So we go up here to your build menu again and select face and then click it and then this face is, is selected. See the other the other side isn't selected at all. Yeah. It, nothing that you do to this one side will affect the back side. Okay, now we open our texture menu and see it gives you a, a lot of options here of coloring it. Uh, how Trans transparent you want it to be you can make it glow you can make it shiny uh, you can even put a movie on it uh, you can go down here to your media menu but we're not going to do that we're going we're going to work on the materials tab today now I uploaded a couple of signs earlier I and we're going to use a couple that I like to use in real life so what we have to do is we have to go up here to the build menu and go to upload image and in most virtual worlds they'll let you do this for free so let's find the menus the the, the images that i want and that would be uh four oh, four i can't spell this morning huh, for god so love the world and we'll open it and there we go now then, now that it just automatically opens my inventory. It's just a setting. Uh, I I use it to kind of make sure that it uploaded. But anyway, you go over here to your your texture tab, click on the texture window, and it opens up a browser to your inventory, and you can use textures all over your inventory. But what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the textures tab and get the one that we just uploaded. For God so loved the world. Oh, looky there. And let's put another message on the other side of it. I'm using my camera controls to cam around to the other side of the sign. And then we'll pan over a little bit and select this side. Okay. And I've already uploaded this one, so we'll select that. And now we have a different message, depending on what side of the sign you're on. Fools mock at sin, proverbs. So, now, 
we're going to put a, uh, a note card in there so when somebody can click it. Because in real life, you'd want to give a, uh, a pamphlet out or, or a few pamphlets, you know, when somebody asks you a question. But we're going to make this to where they can reach over with their mouse and, and left click it and get a when it when they hover their mouse over it and and they can get something out of it a little hand will appear and we'll show you that later though we're going to open up our content tab here and open up our inventory and we're going to get a give script a giver script and scripts are just things as is a little uh, program that you put into it and it gives things uh, well it can do things in world and this all the script does is just give what's ever in the contents of the sign to whoever touches the sign and now we're going to find the note card and let's see i have literally thousands of note cards but what we're going to do is we're going to find one uh i have one called the greatest gift that i really like and the greatest gift and see I'm misspelling this morning I'm really not here there it is right there so and we put that in there and let's see I'm gonna put an animation in here a sign animation so that who, whoever is holding the sign can edit that click on that that animation and they're automatically holding the sign let me watch this uh, let's see hold sign and you can make these animations. Um, I'll make a uh, I'll make a video later on how to how you can create these animations. This is just a simple animation. It just makes you hold hold your arm at a certain angle and looks like you're holding a sign. Okay, so we're good now. Who see how that changed into a hand? And when you click it, it gives you that note card. And nothing can compare with all that is ours in Christ when we find salvation. And I've got like 10,000 copies of that, so I'm going to delete that and discard it. All right. And we need to name this sign so that we can actually find it in inventory. So we're going to edit it again. We're going to go to Object and General. And then we're going to name it uh, Evangelism Sign. Great. Now, and that way when we take it in inventory, I just right click on it and take. Okay, now we want to open inventory. We're going to clear that and go to recent. And there it is. Now, the first time that you wear something, if you just built it, you need to figure out your attachment point. So we're going to attach it to my right hand because that just feels natural for me okay so right hand and it's worn on my right hand now now we're gonna have to edit it into shape okay now to do this we're gonna edit it look in the contents see it's got that animation sign hold so you want to double click that and play in world And it's not working. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, and just minimize it. You don't want to close it out because that'll stop the animation. And then you edit this around to where it looks like you're holding it. So it'll take a little bit of doing to do that. There we go. Okay, that's, that's about right. And see, it's, it's not quite aligned with what you would uh your the world uh coordinates here you gotta adjust it according to your your hand not to uh geographic coordinates here okay so let's see we're almost there it, it takes a little doing sometimes and parallax is a big problem you gotta constantly move around and make sure that it's you're not being fooled by, uh, what it looks like because sometimes it's not quite what it looks like we're almost there 
And see, you don't actually have to be holding it because it'll move with your hand regardless. Okay, that's that's about right right there. I believe this camera around and look. Oh, yeah, it looks lovely. And let's see. Make sure that it's pointed. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to move it around a bit like this. Okay. Now let's recheck it. Make sure. Oh, see? Parallax. It'll fool you every time. And it would help if I was paid more attention to where I was standing and what direction and everything. That makes a world of difference when you're trying to do stuff like this. Okay, and there I am. I'm holding a sign. And I'm ready to spread the gospel. See? And I can turn around. And whoever is around, I can spread the gospel. Okay. Now... And to get rid of it, you just detach and you find your animation, close it out, and you're good. Oh, and the animation is. Anyway, that's how we do that. And uh, I'll bring more, give, give you more tips here later. Bye.